five, four, three, two, one, zero, zero, zero. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to this week's Let's Talk Rural Crime Cymru. Uh, down on the farm today, uh, learning about rural crime with Cardiff Met students. So let's see what we've been up to. This fantastic event, organised by NFU Cymru, allows the Cardiff Met students to attend a working farm in South Wales and see and experience first-hand rural crime in all its forms, receiving inputs from Gwent Rural Crime Team and also NAVCIS, who deal with stolen vehicles throughout the UK. Hi Abby, we're down on your farm today. We've got a few Met students with us. What's going on today? Yeah, we've got a team out from Cardiff Met. They are the next generation of police officers and the idea is just to help explain a little bit about rural crime because quite often I think, especially if you're from an urban environment, you think of crime happening in cities and towns, whereas there's a lot of things that go on in the countryside and they're very different. I see you've got two separate groups. Uh, who, who have you got given presentations today to them? Right, so we've got Gavin who's talking to them about data tags. So this is an insurance tag that can go on a lot of our farm vehicles and it's really important for help trying to trace vehicles that go missing because there were such a lot of money. Uh, and then we've got Dan from Gwent Police who is talking more specifically about rural police um, issues and, and everything that he deals with. Abby, could you just tell us what you're doing here today on the farm in South Wales? So we've got an assessment for uni. <laughs> And um, it's basically about, part of it includes rural crime and wildlife crime. And so today we're kind of getting an insight on crimes that they encounter, initiatives they use to avoid the crimes and what happens if it does happen, how it's dealt with. And then all the other parts of And have you learned thing. anything? That's an amazing thing. I have learned stuff like um, identification of tractors and like you can put that on quad bikes. There's multiple layers of identification so it's not just they can peel it off there's still proof that it was there and like lots of other little interesting facts as well brilliant thanks yeah. abby another highly successful initiative here in wales teaching our university students about all aspects of rural crime 